so we are going to study the next topic in polity which is the prime minister and chief minister okay this is union executive and this is state executive why we are comparing this union executive and state executive is because both are similar powers only similar powers only but the article number is only changing for that only we are uh, studying a similar way okay for uh, when you are studying about the president you just compare with the governor when you are studying with the supreme court compare with the high court like that if you compare and study means both are similar only so you can have a better understanding right so prime minister so prime minister is the real executive and your president is the nominal executive so the real power is with the prime minister so that is prime minister so these articles of a prime minister 74 article number 74 says that there is a council of ministers with prime minister as the head okay and uh, they will aid and advise the president okay so again i am reading the text of the article 74 there is a council of ministers with prime minister as the head and they will aid and advise the president okay so there is a council of ministers we all know the council of ministers is headed by the prime minister okay the prime minister is the head of the council which means that without the head that is without the prime minister the council of ministers cannot exist okay if the prime minister dies or is vacant this prime minister's office is vacant means then the council of minister will be dissolved okay that is the thing next is with the president we all we i told that the article says that the council of ministers with the prime minister's head is only aid and advice so the advice is given to the president okay advice the council of ministers will give a certain advice to the president means uh, any function if they are going to take means they will give to the president but the president at the first time initially the president can return that advice if he is not okay with the advice president will return that advice but if again they are passing this advice with or without amendment then it's a mandatory part of the president to accept that thing okay so at the first time he can return but at the second time he should it's an it's a mandatory one for him to accept that uh, advice or that function okay that is what article 74 is saying so if you see in contrast the same thing okay for chief minister it is 163 how you can remember this 163 74 you might in this 74 you take the respective digits 7 and 4 minus 1 with both the digits 7 minus 1 it is 6 4 minus 1 it is 3 so it is 163 okay 7 minus 1 6 4 minus 1 3 add 1 to that number so 163 that is the same article for the state chief minister is also is the real executive he is having the real power within the state and governor is the nominal head okay uh, to say your prime minister and chief minister is the head of the government and your president and governor is the head of the state okay that is a simple definition uh, the same thing what i have told here uh, it is also in 163 163 it will be a uh, it will be a council of ministers with chief minister as head here it is prime minister and it is here it is chief minister that's a only difference but both the articles the idea is same only okay next is with article 75 okay article 75 says that your prime minister okay your prime minister will be elected by or uh, it, he will be selected by the president okay your prime minister is elected by the president it does not mean that your president can select who whoever he thinks like not like that a party which is having a majority in the lok sabha that party said this to as the prime minister okay um you can ask me whether president can act on his own whether he can select his own uh, candidate yes he can do that is one occasion the occasion is when uh, when there is not a clear majority when in lok sabha no of the party none of the party gets a majority means then your president can act on its own okay usually at that circumstances your president will select the now what to say a party which has gathered the more maximum number of votes or a coalition government will, will will be formed okay also another one thing when a prime minister dies at his office what will happen the council of ministers will be dissolved okay the council of ministers will be dissolved that is first thing uh, if the prime minister post is vacant the council of ministers will be dissolved that is first thing second thing uh, he the the what to say when a when a prime minister or chief minister dies at office then the party okay then the party will decide a member and your president or your governor is not having any option but to appoint that member as the prime minister or chief minister okay so to appoint when a prime minister when an incumbent prime minister is dead in his office then the council of ministers will only decide 
okay the council of ministers will only decide who to be the next prime minister or chief minister because uh, this confusion happened earlier when rajiv gandhi or uh, during the rajiv gandhi period okay when indira gandhi was assassinated um on the in the morning rajiv gandhi became the prime minister but the council of ministers was not informed okay so later that they provided the amendment and now when a prime minister or chief minister is dead with the consent of the council of ministers only they will elect a or the party okay they will elect a, a member as the prime minister or the or the respective chief minister okay so the respective article here it is 75 here it is 164 the same thing what i told 75 take as digits minus 1 Minus one means six. Here means four. So it is one six four. Okay. Another one. The second thing in this Article seventy five is collective responsibility. The Council of Ministers they are collectively responsible to the Parliament. They are collectively responsible to the Parliament. So what is the thing is these Council of Ministers? Okay, they are at the higher level of executive. They are also present in the Parliament. So legislator and executive both are the same. Okay. so collective responsibility means they are collectively responsible to the parliament there are many uh, checks okay the parliament is having many checks and controls for this collective responsibility that i have dealt when dealing with the parliament and state legislator i have told there are many things like zero hour question hour like that many devices uh, devices are there using these devices your parliament or your state legislator will have a check of this collective responsibility okay if this council of ministers is losing the majority okay Uh, the, the the simple crux of this correct responsibility is either all the council of ministers swim together or they sing together okay that is the correct responsibility if they are having the majority they will swim together till the end of the tenure of five years if they are losing out the majority then they will then that uh, what to say they will be dissolved the party or that uh, tenure will they, they will be dissolved the council of ministers will be dissolved okay that is correct responsibility and same thing is present for uh, state executive also okay they are also the members the mlas are also having collective responsibility to the respective state legislative assembly if they are not having majority or what to say uh, if a council of ministers or is taking advice means it should be a one it should, if the council of ministers coming out with idea means it should it should be a one idea okay if they are taking that we are we are uh, let us take that is a state and uh, that state x is uh, taking decision that we are uh, uh, we are what to say we are opposing gst means every members every council of the members should oppose the gst okay it is not that the the idea is the, the whole party idea is that we are opposing gst and some members are uh, inter, uh, are okay with the gst it should not be that 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 should not be variety of ideas okay the idea or the voice of the council of ministers should be unilateral okay that is the main idea of this collective responsibility the article number is changing okay last one is article 78 here what it is saying is the relation of prime minister with the president okay your prime minister is, will act as a bridge between the president and the council of ministers okay so when the council of ministers is taking an advice or is, when the council of ministers is taking a decision okay let us say example uh, the modi government is there in the center and if the modi government uh, before passing that uh, gst they could have sit in uh, sit in room and they could have discussed okay the cabinet or the council of ministers would have discussed and they have come to an conclusion that okay we will introduce gst if such conclusion has been taken it is the duty of prime minister to inform that decision to the president so only told he is acting as a bridge between these two on uh, other occasions if president okay if president needs any advice or president needs any clarity if president is if president needs any clarity about the decision taken also he will ask the prime minister about what happened in the function then he will only submit the reports to the president okay that is uh he is acting as the bridge between the president and the council of ministers that is one thing and the same thing okay 78 you, you minus 1 and add 1 that is 167 and here also your chief minister here your chief minister will act as a bridge between the governor and the council of ministers okay so he is the bridge uh, between the governor and the council of ministers so whenever at, whenever a decision is taken at the council level the council of ministers taking the advice means then that will be communicated to the governor via chief minister so these are three articles for prime minister chief minister the important thing you should know is president is appointed by the your prime minister is appointed by the president and your chief minister chief minister is appointed by the governor okay appointment how they will appoint i told which party is having majority that party said is, is appointed as the chief minister or the respective prime minister okay so with that we are coming to the end of the prime minister and chief minister thank you